Hi there, I'm Bert and I'm a professional amateur photographer. And in this video I want to show you how you can change lenses on the fixed lens Fujifilm X100V. Part of the charm of the X100V is the fixed 23mm lens. But what if you don't get along with the 35mm equivalent field of view of that lens? Or what if you like to mix things up a little bit to create some more variation? There's of course always the option to use a camera with interchangeable lenses instead of the X100. Or you can take a look at the WCL X100 and the TCL X100 to turn your X100 series camera into the equivalent of a 28 or 50 mm. <laughs> search for even more compact photography solutions, I kind of rediscovered these over the last few months. But we'll get to that later. Let's first talk about what these converters do, because some of you might not even know they exist. The WCL and TCL are not full-on lenses with focus mechanisms and an aperture. Converter lenses are just metal housings with some fine pieces of glass that bend the light a bit differently into the built-in lens. The W in the WCL X100 stands for white and the T in TCL stands for tele. With the first generation of the converters you had to manually set that you were using a converter and which one to get the lens correction and have the right EXIF data. But for a few years now there is a version 2 of the converters. Optically and visually these are identical, but there's a little magnet inside that tells the camera that there is a converter attached. The camera then automatically takes care of the right lens corrections and EXIF data. To me that makes a big difference, as it was one of the main reasons why I sold off the version 1 converters a long time ago. The converters simply screw onto the front of the X100 lens. Take the protector ring off and screw in the converter of choice. The great thing about not having any moving parts in the converter lenses is that they are perfectly weather sealed out of the box. And you still get the benefits of a leaf shutter. As these are the version 2's, the camera immediately recognizes the converter. I've read some articles of people gluing in magnets into the old version with success, but I haven't tried that myself. Both version 1 and two are available in silver and black by the way. The white converter gives you a 28mm equivalent field of view and it's pretty small. You can still put the camera with the adapter in a big coat pocket easily. I personally think it doesn't waste the X100's good looks at all. The front filter size is exactly the same as the filter adapter of the X100V native lens, so if you have a protector filter or one of those hipster bloom filters, you can use the same one with the white converter. The Fujifilm lens hood also fits the WCL. I find the image crystal clear and sharp with little distortion. I don't see any degradation in the image quality, nor did I perceive a loss of light. The autofocus feels pretty much identical to shooting without a converter. The 28mm equivalent feels more natural to me than a 35 as a walk around everyday street and documentary lens. But of course that is highly personal. On top of that it's similar to the field of view of the Leica Q2 for a fraction of the price. The TCL turns the lens of any X100 camera into a 33mm or a 50mm equivalent. 
on the older X100 cameras I had the feeling that did have a bit of a negative impact on the image quality and that the autofocus could get a bit sluggish. But I was pleasantly surprised when I used the TCL on the X100V. The image looks perfectly fine to me and I only in the worst lighting conditions noticed a slight difference in autofocus performance. But let's address the elephant in the room, or at least its trunk. While the WCL is compact and keeps in line with the aesthetics of the X100, the teleconverter is a bit of a different beast. It's big and heavy in comparison, but I guess that's physics for you. If you are shooting one-handedly, it throws the balance off, but with two hands it's not that bad. I understand that it's simply the compromise you have to make to turn the 23mm lens into a 33 My only real gripe is that the TCL looks, um, well, ugly. But I've never let the look of a piece of gear stop me, if it's the right thing for the job. If I shoot for longer periods of time with the TCL, I prefer to use a metal hand grip like this one from JJC. In my renewed quest for compactness, these two converters are often the right tools for the job. You see, in the last few years I've been using my bike a lot to get around and on the bike weight and size are really important. Also in everyday life I like to capture a quick portrait to document the life of my family and grab a funny snapshot without carrying a big bag of gear. The X100V and the converters are not a full replacement for my cameras with interchangeable lenses. But the X100V is in many cases my best bike and everyday camera. And these two converters vastly expand my options without breaking the bank or my back. These are compact and light, even the TCL isn't that bad. Because there are no moving parts inside the converters, they don't seem to mind rattling around in a bike bag and being used in wet, muddy and dusty conditions. Let me know what you think of the WCL and TCL X100. And if you're interested in what and how I shoot with these, let me know in the comments and I'll see if I can share some experiences and techniques in a future video. Bye bye.